<laughs> oh, roll out. Angie gets whipped, nothing else matters. Even medic can suicide, medic can even go crits, then just suicide after. Andy does this, this. Standard shit, I think everyone knows this. Roll out, grab the ammo pack on the left there. Put Telly either here or there. Yeah, so Telly could also be here. I like this a bit less. I think this is better for the flank because they can rotate it out. This is also fine, but this can get sniped easier. So this is kind of a bit better. Uh, dispenser goes here. So whenever your team gets bombed, the medic can hide in the dispenser. Uh, and has a good overview of whatever's happening. And he can't get sniped except from, from right there. This angle from the rock or there. So like this is pretty safe. Sentry, well then after that, you can put it aggro in the rock here. I think everyone knows this. So this sentry right here is the best for to counter bombers. Uh, so in the beginning of the game, putting it here is good because whenever they demon soldier bomb, it just denies them. Two other good spots is like right here. Like that means the sniper doesn't have a good sideline and needs to peek really wide. And you're, you're kind of available from spam. And the other one is right here where you also watch tunnel. Like somewhere here, it doesn't really matter that much. The downside of this one is the easiest to take down. Soldier can direct it from all the way back there and doesn't really have to go far in. So I would put it either like here or like an aggressive in the beginning. But it's really situational. If your flank need help, needs help on tunnel, on putting way. it here is I'm actually good. Defense. Okay, so at the beginning of the game, uh, Pyro's Cliff. Heavy's Cliff. Heavy, you can stand here if you want. Just make sure you don't die, you can even stand here. Uh, your job as heavy at the beginning of the game is just one thing. Counter the bombers, because they're gonna bomb. It's just gonna happen, heavy, you have to kill them when they do that. Pyro stays here to help reflecting. He's he's not gonna like have easy kills on that, but he's just making sure uh, rockets might not, don't hit the medic. Basically, that's all he needs to do. Demo's holding aggro, spamming like a fucker. And whenever they bomb, he can shoot a vibe at them and then do this again, you know? But like, make sure that when they bomb, that no one walks up cliff for free, like right here. That's just not how, if they do that, they can get a cheeky like after bomb pick or maybe even the force if the pyro goes here. That's what I like to do on attack, just go here. They're all watching the bombers. I just walk around this corner for free real quick with power jack and I just get a boom, boom, get a kill or a, like a cleanup or a force, whatever, you know. Uh, medic, it's better for you to play like back here when they're bombing. Like in a dispenser, as I said, or you can drop down. It's also fine. Just be careful of the sniper sideline. Like depending on the, where the sniper is, where he's already aggro, you, you you choose. But staying here is a death trap. Just like because the demo and the soldier can easily like get rollers in this corner and shit. And here you have the like opportunity to move right, to move left. Don't don't put yourself in a corner when you're trying to counter bombers. Uh, beginning of the game, soldier, the beginning of the game you're gonna be here, just spamming, maybe even for passive on this area. Uh, sniper, you're gonna be watching here, there, there, maybe even upper, but basically your goal is just to kill their sniper. And then after that you can, you can do whatever you want until the sniper's back up. You just keep the sniper down. Give the sniper no space. That's your, that's your major job on defense. A spy, you're gonna be sitting cloak and dagger for like, until they do like a bomb, or like until, until they actually get out, like with a push. You're just sitting a cloak and dagger, you're not doing that much. You're just calling wherever people are going, are people going to tunnel, are people going to play, are people going to get ready to bomb, you need to call that shit. Sitting here usually gets spy checked, it's still good though. Sitting here is fine, sitting here is fine, uh, even sitting here. If you're sitting here is risky because your demo's gonna like be aggro, like trying to get spam a bit, you know? So you're, you're gonna get spammed if you sit here this bad. This right side is generally bad. This is fine, this is fine. You can jump from there to there, this is also okay. It's more about that you know what's happening and you don't get fucked by the pyro instantly. Because pyro will, a good pyro will just shoot a flare here or like a detonator. You're gonna get caught on fire, you have to retreat. You have to get back for heals and it just like gives them an opportunity to get in without intel. Uh, <laughs> Scout's holding a general area on first defense. He's not in one spot, he's kind of roaming, he's just filling wherever they're aggressive. So Scout's area of control reaches from all the way like there, here, here, to like this area, this area, back here if you want to say spy, there, and tunnel. So like sp uh, Scout is like wherever there's pressure and you're watching where your soldier isn't or you're playing with your soldier like if, if our com if, if our heavy is watching this right uh and there's no one here and you, you peek in and you see no one right you can just like rotate here make sure you don't get pressure here right like you just keep uh, rotating uh, in general it's better for your soldier to play the tunnel because soldier can sit on this rock and just spam and this is just a really good angle like this is fucking just so much work you can do here pro of this you don't get sniped 
and like one rocket jump and you get up there. It's just uh, you get back up and you can also like spam instantly or you go this way one rocket jump and you're here. You can already deny that. It's just easier for soldier to play this. Whenever there's an O pressure in tunnel though, soldier doesn't stay here. Scout's watching this at that point. Or your spy. Or your spy's just in the position again. Or scout's watching this and then your soldier then can go a bit more aggro. Like spamming aggressive here. Here, you know. Denying the sniper side. Like, the sniper needs to get denied. That's how you hold the points. As long as the sniper's dead, they can't really do much. Because they can't get picks. Spy is easy to deny. Uh, most likely what will happen is spy will go out, go through tunnel. <laughs> oh, I'm walking to spawn. And I'm gonna sap all the way around. I'm gonna sap the tally in so we don't have teleporter. That's like what's gonna happen. Like 10 out of like 9 out of 10 times. If he doesn't, he might go for like a really early play by sapping the sentry while they're bombing or whatever, right? If they do that, just leave the sentry, leave the NG. If they're bombing and they have sap and they have like a lot of people stacking here, leave the spy part, just focus on the bombers. They're gonna fuck you up the most. The spy uh, will be, just be distracted by the NG anyways. And if you can't kill him quick, don't bother for a sec. Just air blast them off and like hold this. So defense, Pyro, you wanna stay on cliff. Okay, so for defense, uh, heavy, you're either playing at the back, you're playing a bit more like medium range, a bit more aggro, you're like kind of like, wherever there's more pressure, the heavy shifts his attention to that side. Demos, you're always aggro on this side, you're always trying to spam that, that, denying this, denying this low ground, and denying that. Demos just like spamming everywhere, wherever the combo is, you know? Just denying like the cliff, mainly, is your main job. Pyro is just like spy checking and watch it, keeping an eye out, maybe sometimes helping the demo with like a cheeky flare. But in general, you're just spy checking and watching for bombers. You don't have that much to do. <laughs> uh, you always want to stay like when, when you know they have Uber and they're out of spawn, they're going to push. You always want to be on cliff as Spyro. You can't take the risk of dropping down. Like getting kills here, that's fine. But if they they their the medics out, you don't do that. You always stay on cliff. Uh, because the big reason is if they uber cliff and your pyro is still alive, your medic just solos your your pyro. Maybe flash your demo so you can get out. But then like you solo the pyro, he just right mouse buttons while your team backs off to the sentry and the dispenser and shit and heal up again. And the pyro just air blast them off this way or off that way or off back in there or back all the way there. It just Fox their Uber completely. If they're on this low ground, your demo and your soldier are gonna have a field day with them. Your scout oh. can just come in from the left. It's just like, yeah. Uh, yeah, now Pyro's yeah. main job on first defense is just air blasting. Like, yeah, it's literally. And spy checking. Yeah, that's the main thing. You can get some mad kills doing that. Because when they, whenever they go too aggressive, like on cliff, without like Ubering in, Pyro can get a free kill or demo can get a free kill often. That's when you can get kills as well. Uh, but like if they're actually playing smart and they don't do that, whenever they uber, you're gonna be the guy getting ubered because it's just the best way. You just right click them on this corner right here. Their pyro is gonna be first one in trying to air blast you as well. So as long as you right click early, you win. And like even if you don't right click early, you're gonna get backed off this way, which means you can go straight back in. Just make sure you have ammo to actually reflect. Like yeah, you need to sure. have, you need <laughs> like make sure you have like at least 160 ammo when you do that. Preferably you, you, you like even yeah, take the fucking ammo. You, yeah, yeah make, make sure you get full ammo before you do that. Because you air blast them, then you like you keep them in control and your demo can... Like as soon as they're off the cliff, your demo can and your heavy can go start going aggressive again. And you just like keep peeking this, flaming, back off when you don't have uber. Then your demo gets in on this left or like behind just spamming. Your heavy flanks maybe on the left here, you know. You just clean them up after that. Because if they lose this high ground, you can just play this, right? That you're should still gonna have sentry. Should heavy ever drop down tunnel if our flanks have yeah, trouble? Yeah, if uh, a medic you don't drop down then, unless it's like their combos there, right? But otherwise, you as medic always try to stay up here. You can like go down and just like heal from here. You're not, you don't, you're not really in the sniper side on here, you know. That's also sometimes side. And sometimes, yeah, you can drop down if you know you're gonna win the fight in tunnel. Like that's mainly you only do that when like there's a lot of players there, like everyone and like everyone besides their medic, maybe you know. It's yeah. Like you, you just don't want to Uber for that because there's no need. You, you, you should never have to Uber on tunnel unless they Uber from tunnel. Yes, and even then you might not even have to. Yeah, heavy just gets full. Like your flanks already probably here. Your scouts already doing damage. So your heavy just drops down with full buff and that just cleans it up. Your pyro could do the same. Pyro, you should always be the last to do that. Demo could also help spamming and drop down as well. But if you, if they do that, pyro, you stay up here. 
Uh, when demo dr and heavy drop down, though, medic, you you should probably also drop down and stay with your combo, right? Pyro, your job is just like while they're doing that shit, your job is just denying the cliff and not dying to sniper and keeping an eye out if there's snipers getting aggro on that side or something. You're just like trying to like keep cliff control with the NG when they do that. Yeah, the the, the main way you lose first is they get like space here, they get good picks with their sniper and they get in. If you bleed your entire flank. You know, and you have to pop for card, otherwise you're gonna lose the point. And like their combos are gonna take Cliff after that for free. If you know you're gonna lose Cliff, you have to Uber for card, you know. And they, there are already people on Cliff, just back out the second. You just Where should sure Cyber be on defense? I don't think well, you mentioned that. Where you should be. Yeah. Wherever he wants to be, but as long as he counters the other sniper. Alright. Uh, if, the, if their sniper's tunnel, you wanna go tunnel and kill him. Uh, or you want to get three picks on the left. Uh, your main job as sniper is denying their sniper and denying the left side. That's the two main things. And you can help in tunnel as well. If there's like too many people, you you basically deny where there's a lot of people, and you like uh, you deny uh, the other other sniper. And usually denying the left flank is the best because if they have direct hit here, they can take the sentry. That's bad for you because it's just some form of defense you lose. You know, like what you want to like have them do. Is like even if they uber in and your power doesn't deny them right, you want them to be forced to go for sentry or otherwise get fucked in the after uber. That's why you want to keep sentry alive, because a sentry wrecks an after uber. And if they go for the sentry during the uber, your combo is gonna survive or like keep their positioning. If they focus your combo, the sentry is gonna survive and clean you up. That that's the that's how this like cliff, that's why cliff is so strong. So denying their soldier from direct hitting hitting your sentry down is fucking huge, you know? Killing soldiers big, killing snipers big, uh, killing demo and shit is big, a sniper on defense. Those are the three main picks you wanna get. On attack, uh, the biggest pick, besides of course a medic, is Pyro, because Pyro can't reflect anymore. So what you can do on attack, if you get a Pyro pick, your card's already at the end of the tunnel in position. Uh, your combo just could, like instantly goes cliff, like your heavy demo Pyro. They go cliff. Make sure you don't die to sticks here or here, you know. Pyro goes in first. They Uber. And the Pyro just air blasts them all the way down here or down there, you know. Just take, like, air blast everyone off. That's your only job. Like, you just take the Uber, Uber solo, maybe flash your demo as well to do some that to get the sentry, you know. You just Uber the Pyro in. The pyro just makes so much space and the demo and the, the demo just comes behind and spams the set spams and shit tries to get the sentry as quickly as he can uh heavy what you can do in the meantime so the best to do when when the pyro demo can go in a uh, pyro first always pyro first when you do that uh heavy you sit right here and you head blitz the shit out of everyone the the good thing about sitting here is you can rotate this way if that if the like or you can jump up instantly you know uh, the good thing about that is if the pyro succeeds in like getting everyone like off the cliff back here, US Heavy can rotate real quick from here and just cut them off while they're retreating through this like stupid thing here. So your main goal if their pyro dies, no matter what happens, if pyro dies you want to kill sentry as quickly as you can and then you want to just uber in on pyro before the pyro respawns. And then, then you basically win always because if they get off of high ground and your combos is still here, you're gonna always win because in the, your the, your flanks gonna have so much space in the meantime while you're pushing cliff. It uh, should be good. Uh, otherwise, if it's still mating, right? You just wanna still exchange here, and in the meantime, you wanna have like everyone else go card, uh, like so you can cap. So if it's still mating and they're equal, yeah, like you you maybe got a pick before you push, right? You always get a pick before you push. It's just like not happening. You're not getting the picks you need or whatever. You just do the same shit, like same Uber on cliff. And you like have your flanks all stack card, and you just try to nudge the card to spike application or whatever, you know, get it closer slowly. That's one way to do it. Uh, the other way is kill sniper or and kill demo or kill sentry, and then like your demo can walk up this way, and you like get a, make space, and it's like you make a tiny bit of space, and as soon as you can, you want to pop in. If you're not gonna push like this, this, this in, you know, from this angle. If you're not gonna push, don't sit in right side as medic. Like eventually you're just gonna get spammed out and die. Second, you don't hold roof. Just don't. It's stupid. 
Uh, you wanna back out, hopefully your medic survives. Put sentry here is fine, if they wipe your medic, they're gonna have uber add. Uh, you wanna have your NG already setting up a turret instead. Make sure your telly is already a turret. That's the first thing you should probably do. Set up a turret anyways, and then if you manage to hold, you can, like, if, if they manage to stall and not cap quick enough, you just move it up to here and wrangle it and shit. Dispenser, if you can, and like you're holding, you always wanna move it here as well. Keep your telly at turret, that's probably just better. You wanna have your scout and soldier play roof. Uh, just to get free kills, you know? Like, you, you just deny them by spamming this and shit. And yeah, you, you just play it as much as you can, like... Your heavy could even play here sometimes. Like, if, if, if you think you can out the them, your heavy could play here, just get arrows. What's better though, is just if you're heavy, medic, demo pyro, just play this corner. They just fucking deny this and this, and your sniper can peak aggro and shit. Like, your sniper peak aggro and shit. This is gonna be close, by the way. This is uh, close when you haven't cap second. Yeah, you, your sniper can just peek this. And like the only thing you have to really worry about is spies getting past you, like past this choke, and like uncloaking there, like here, or uncloaking sorry back here. And the other thing you have to worry about is spies uncloaking there or bombers high bombing like around this building. But you'll see them coming because it's like a really big gap here. So as long as you, someone's watching that, that shouldn't be a problem either. And then you just DM them on guard. And if they go roof and they get a sniper on roof, that's when you like try to back out, start backing out. Uh, backing out, you can do it two ways. You can go back through the shutter. Make sure if you do that, you do that in time and make you stand here. Don't like get stuck in the door. That happens a lot. Like just people that don't back out in time, you just get stuck here. Like never do that. If it's gonna, the cards too close, don't even try going for this. Just back out this way into the house or back out like drop down tracks, you know? And you just go to third hold then. Like a second is, you can hold second on the roof. What you do is you put sentry. Someone puts the sentry right here, watching card and watching my card and watching the roof, like on the back here. Dispenser here, pyro demo, heavy soldier as well, and like sniper scout playing car and shit. And that like that works. The problem with holding second though is that if you lose second, you're also gonna lose third, and third is a much easier point to hold. It's a much better hold. Uh, okay, so go over to third when you back out. Uh, any question about this point? We probably shouldn't cross, right? This. Yeah, we probably shouldn't. Cross. No, like the only way you get the sniper down, then you can cross. Like if oh, they're yeah. if they're if they're not close here, like what's really easy for a demo to do is just to keep peeking this and shit. And if you you if the demo keeps doing, and your heavy can also play close, your pyro can air blast them and shit. Like you have picks on them, your pyro can just start spy checking and doesn't have to help here. You just like the first to push, you want to deny that. And after that, they're gonna like be stuck in this like stupid tight corridor, and you're definitely just spam with the shit. The soldiers, your soldier wants to be on the roof, and he can also spam from the roof, and they're just gonna die. And even if they don't, like they're even if, if they have Uber at right, you just play super passive, and you just like want to delay them here. You want to make sure your medic survives, so he has Uber at on third. Like you want to force them. That's the goal you have. That's why you do second hold. You either, like, you don't tr actually try to hold. It's more like delaying them for a third hold. Like, you need to play it safe. Your medic does can't die for that. You need to keep your Uber at, or Uber needs to be equal after second. That's the two big things. And you can't bleed your entire team there. If they get too much pressure out, you don't stay in. As I said, you can do it that way, that way, that way. Doesn't really matter. There's two holds for third. You got aggro hold, which has your demo and your pyro and your s soldier and your medic playing up here and they peak aggressive house they peak aggressive whole boiler and as long as someone's watching under that's no problem you can just keep doing that and like the only two ways they're gonna be able to push is either house boiler tracks anyways if they are doing tracks they're gonna have to always pop early because the sentry is wrangled from there in the window if they pop house you just uber the pyro and you air blast them while your demo just reloads and then the, you just M1 them in, or you keep spamming on your demo, and they just can't get in, you just deny this choke, real easy. And if they then try to back out without keeping in the guard here, you, the power can just M1 and just kill them. For boiler, same shit if they try to get to, through the fucking, past this line, this line right here. Power can just deny them as well, you can even air blast them off, like, in the pit there. It's just really bad. The only, like, really risky thing about that is if they push tracks. They might actually get the like the, the force on the medic, like people are unexpected, too many people stacked up here and it, the demo just comes like this, boom boom, does too much damage to your combo and that might fuck you. That's why aggro hold is a tiny bit risky. Uh, as soldier you always want to be watching boiler and like tracks. Try to stay as aggro as you can, like probably around here. 
baby here. Like just try to like play the aggressive a soldier always. Scout, you're watching like the under and also helping the soldier in boiler. You're just kind of roaming. Okay, for buildings, the dispenser goes right here at the top of the stairs. Don't put it at the bottom. At the top, the spike, if you put it like right in the middle here, the spike can't get past the dispenser because there's a rating here. The spike can't get upper unless he does this, the jump, which you can jump from, if you strafe jump correctly, you can as a spy actually, like also as other class, but as a spy you can like jump like that with a strafe jump, uh, like as most class, even a heavy with fist of steel and getting whipped and conched can do that. Be mindful of that, but that, that's really difficult. Most spies don't know how to do that. Most people don't even know this, this jump exists anyways until you reach high diffs. So yeah, basically spies should always be forced to set this fucking dispenser before you can get up. Tally, but you can put it there. You can put it back here. I like back here more because otherwise, if they are, if they get in and someone takes the deli, you're kind of stuck. If you do it there, you have the chance to back out there. You can also play from tracks, you know. Uh, yeah, sentry there. Heavy wants to always be playing up here in the house here. First of all, he's close to the dispenser for free ammo. He has an ammo pack here as well, a small health kit as well. It's easy for him to deny boiler and tracks and house from here. It's just such a good spot. Like this is this is so fucking Jewy. Just in general, this entire platform is heavy, heavy heaven. If they try to like the only bomb they can do is from like this open gap here, and the heavy instantly denies that if he sits there. So this is just the best spot for heavy. Heavy like no matter what hold you do, you always sit here. Uh, so as I said before, you also have a passive hold. Passive hold is where you have your medic playing in this general area, like on the dispenser, basically sitting here, just watching this constantly. You can heavy can instantly come back for heals instantly, pretty easy. Uh, your pyro displays like. Pretty passive, like back here, doesn't really show himself, make sure he doesn't get sniped from tracks. Your sniper can play here, get constant buffs, get pick some tracks, get pick some boiler. Your demo can be a bit more aggro, sticking house from here, go passive, play this corner. If you do that though, your flank's always gonna have to stay a bit aggro, because you wanna always deny boiler for as long as you can. And you always wanna deny house for as long as you can, so your flank's always aggro, doesn't matter what hold you do. The good thing about this is though, your demo is like 100% to survive. If for Pyro, spy checking this area is so super easy. There's like one, two, maybe back here, but that's a bit too far. You, can, you will see him walking if you're playing here, right? The other spot he can uncloak is maybe there. Or maybe like right here out of the vision. But even then, you're gonna, like, you're gonna be roaming this a bit, the Spyro. And whenever they push in, what you do? Your demo just like whenever you see them pushing, we have here the call they're gonna push. Demo just backs out here with the medic, and the pyro just sits here. Sentry just fucks them up, heavy fucks them up from upper. Soldier might still be alive or backed out that way, you know. You just fuck them, like they're just not gonna be, have anything to kill. And like they're gonna be caught out on low ground here, or they're gonna be like caught right here. You don't have to uber because your medic is safe, your demo is safe, your pyro is safe, and that's enough to kill their entire team. So you just push back out on your pyro with an uber and you clean it up after the, their uber is over like you just you just like milk the uber for free that's why this is the better hold it requires your flank to be a bit actually good though yeah in the meantime sniper same thing you kill their sniper and uh, you deny boiler peeking because boiler if they get if they can get this platform area they can spam the sentry from here and that's what you don't want to happen that's why you want to watch that as well like, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Heavy just always sits there. Soldier always here. Scout's kind of just spy checking, helping soldier. Pyro's like, in passive hold, always spy checking. In aggressive hold, he's watching house main. He, the medic should spy check for himself a bit more then. Uh, if you're gonna lose, uh, you don't hold this corner. Like, this is the passive hold on third. It's kind of good. Put a sentry there, you know? Like, it's just delaying. It's You only do this if you have really have to delay them. Uh, staying as aggro as you can around this corner, though, that's fucking huge staying as ever can as you can around this order playing this corner like sometimes allows you to just like if you're forced into the position where you have to play this corner it's not actually bad because it sometimes allows you to get three kills on card and just get back in on third and you can keep holding third if you manage that that's pretty good for you like you, you might even get some free kills, you know? But if you don't really have to do it and you feel like you're better off just backing out, like you lost too many players and shit, you're better off just playing this or like 
like playing this and then backing off to the corner. Yeah, because this this space is kind of given up anyways if you lose this corner. Like you just play every corner you find. Uh, they get in, right? In the beginning, you want to be aggro because you want to delay them for as long as you can. So you're, if you're, your engine can set up on last. Uh, and you can set up on three good spots, a couple spots. I think you know them, like right there. Right there, uh, the upgrade spot where you put it here and once it gets level 2 it can shoot over. Even up here sometimes good. Uh, really not the way you want to do it though, but it's sometimes good. In general, pyro demo, you want to be playing here. Just denying the choke. That's your only job. Demo like sticks, sticky's aggressive, keeps doing damage. He's reloading, pyro goes aggressive, vice versa. You know, you keep rotating between the two classes. It's good to put a dispenser here for your combo to do that. And you just keep rotating and shit. Keeping this like choke locked down so they can't get in, you know? Flank, scout, you're gonna be playing the right side tires. And you can like roam a bit, of course. Get aggro, get a bit more passive. Uh, it's just you need to get, keep intel here. Uh, spy, you can do the same, you can help him with that. Heavy, you wanna get a buff. Like, either you wanna be playing passive here to back up your combo. What's better is to sit in map room with full buff. And whenever you need buff again, you just sit in the window there and you get buff from your medics. Like, who comes back for a sec, heals you to full health, and you can just go back to the choke hold. And soldier, you're also there. Uh, soldier, you need to keep in mind that if their soldier's not coming map room and you hear the call on tires, you need, and your scout dies on tires, you're the guy to rotate the tires. That's the main thing you need to keep an eye out on. So let's say they spam you out of choke, you can't do it, or you have Uber this at. If you don't have player at or like Uber or something, you can't really hold this choke because they're just gonna walk in with Uber and kill you, you know? Or like player at and just. Like too many, too many bodies to just kill you. So if they do that, you just back off to this corner instead. As soon as they Uber in, even if you don't have Uber, even when it's equal Uber, you don't Uber, like if you have equal Uber, you Uber into them. If you like almost have Uber, right? You just back off into the stairway and you either push back out of the stairway or you go up all the way. You just flank them from fucking cart. If your demo and like uh, pyro and your heavy can get in here. You can have Demo Heavy staying this front exit. Pyro just gets above and just goes up and he just flanks, you know? They just get the kill, clean them up from behind. That's just pretty good. Or pushing back out with Uber is also good. Uh, that's why this sentry is pretty fucking big. Because wrangling it delays them from coming after your combo when they're backing off into the stairs. And like it also watches map room. This one is good because it's not that easy to spam from like map room they have to peek pretty deep but like the downside is is if they if their pyro just gets uber and peeks his corner and he's not getting air blast by your pyro he just kills the sentry for free and often if your medic's holding here he's gonna get forced so standing here when you know they're gonna push is bad generally for a medic you always want to back off this way if you can the biggest thing is keeping control of map room and tires you keep that, you basically gonna win. Uh, map room is the bigger one. Tires is more like a way for their flank to push in. Map room is a way for them to damage your combo like a map man, and you don't want that to happen. So map room control is a bit more important be because if they push tires, you can just go to passive hold until they push in, and then you can need to clean them up, and then you can go to tire and hold it again. It will be more aggressive. Well, you basically keep switching between the aggro hold and the passive hold on the sentry, like playing here, you know. Like, depending on the situation. If you keep doing that, it's just gonna be, like, pretty easy to hold. If your pyro, like, just keeps air blasting them whenever they push, it just... They just can't get space. Like, they need to actually, like, get in there, right? They need to kill the sentry, otherwise they can't push. It's kind of how uh, this point works. Uh, any questions for particular classes? I think most people know how to play Badwater. If they start pushing map room as heavy, should you drop down? Uh, if you're gonna get killed, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to die there if you can avoid it. Like what they often do, right, to take map room is like they send pyro, uh, heavy soldier with full buff in here. And if you only have your heavy here, he's going to always die. So you get the fuck out. Uh, if your soldier's with you, you might actually win that because this order is really easy to hold. You have so many spam opportunities, right? Yeah, holding it is better. But like then again, right, defense, you don't want to die. If they get picks, that allows them to push. That's the one thing you don't want. And that's by them getting a heavy, them getting a soldier. It's just big picks at that point. If you get both a heavy and a soldier, like that's big on last because it's the cleanup classes you need for after Uber. Yeah, I like the heavy map room because you can just sit here, get buffed, go back, boom, sit here, buff, back, boom, easy. Just like, and soldier sitting here is also so good. Like if your soldier and heavy get coordinated with that, you can just like bait the shit out of them and just like fuck them up. Where would their sniper usually be playing? Main. If you lose tires in windows, well, but that's right. That's the only two places you can be. You can also be on the back here, you know? 
bit more. So he's not much of a threat on this point. No, here. it's main. If your sniper keeps him down, that's not big a deal. And if you keep good pressure on choke with your demo, he can't really pick. And like for instance, when they go map room or they like they send some people tires to play tires, they send some people map to play map room. Your power on them are constantly peaking this. They see that. They could just aggro pop into them if they think they can win, right? And they, then just force the medic. It fucks them up so much. Because their entire team will be like, shit, they Ubered in. They, everyone's coming back and shit. And your flank just pushes forward on both sides and you just kill them all. It's just like, it could work real well. Sometimes if, there's, if they even sent the demo map room, I've seen that. Like, they sent four players map. It's just the medic, like, sitting here with the sniper and the MG and then I'm, I'm a pyro and I see this and I'm like I full buff and I'm like okay M1 and I just kill all of them they, you just force for free if they do that stupid shit On a, okay so let's go over attack third second uh, fourth and then we're done attack third fourth is pretty difficult but we'll go over second that's pretty easy if you wipe them on first you want to get here as, to this corner as quickly as you can and take control of the shutter there you just want to spawn camp it as quickly as you can if, uh, they're, they're probably gonna be able to set up with some players here but you just play this corner because you're still gonna probably have player add and you just like spam them out to get the kills. Make sure your spy uh, the spy doesn't get a step from here on the medic while they're walking while you're walking past this way. So Pyro, someone check that. Yeah, you know, Pyro should check that. Uh, let's say they backed out. They managed to have like Uber still or a medic survived, but uh, and they can set up here. Like and you think there's gonna be players roof? If you think there's gonna be players roof, uh, you send your combo upper instantly. Your soldier goes backstairs. You, you could also go backstairs with a combo. You just get control of roof. Like if you think they're going roof, you go roof as quickly as you can after capping first. You don't allow them to set up. If they have set up, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. But they're probably in the like you. You need to capitalize on the first like few seconds after you cap first. You need to be like be quick, because if they if you allow them to set up, they could fuck you. In general, you just want to take control of yard, get your soldier there, and you want to like push. Uh, like you always want to push back stairs if you have to take roof because this is the easiest way to clean up And like you want to then have your flank come in front stairs after you like after you uber in In the meantime you want to have someone capping and putting pressure there Like you need sniper pick for that though, you need soldier pick, you need some picks Second is a difficult point to push but it's usually doable and once you eventually do it, they lose third for free most likely You, you get third for free, third is something you can win the map on and this is not really like something you can win the map on. So pushing, as I said, if you think there's people roof, even if it's just scout soldier, you just want to sink your entire combo there and get the free kills. What that allows to do, like as soon as you get them, if there's snipers like not watching you or like there's nothing like really like effectively blocking you, you just drop down here. Uh, otherwise, you just got walk back to the stair like this way, and go from here. But like you just want to leave some players on roof to keep spamming, right? You can leave your soldier here. He can he can he can join the fight from here by spamming that spamming that you know if they're playing there, and your heavy could also do that. Uh, your sniper can go up here and shit. Like if you get roof, it just allows for a lot of pressure. Like your soldier can even use the left side and get like deep, or your heavy can go here. You know, after that you just exchange ubers and like because you have high advantage in the after uber, you're always gonna win. Like you always like they're they're, they're grouped up in like one small choke, and if you have roof, your sniper can get free kills from there as well. Just gives you so much space to work with. So like if you wanna if you're holding passive here, just take roof, and then you're probably gonna win. So let's say they don't back out, if or if you wipe them here. Get on third as quickly as you can if they have gun killing as quickly as you can and start camping this corner as quickly as you can. Like if you wipe them, go quick, 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 camp this. Then even if you can, try to camp this even. If you can get that deep, go here. If you can't get this, if they're already here, just camp this. But if you can get deep enough to get here, that's the ultimate goal. So just you need to be quick, like on uh, on this point in general. Because if you allow them to set up on third, it's going to be fucking difficult to push. Just a pain in the butt. So let's say they did set up on third. Three pushes you can do. If they're holding aggro, house push is good. If they're holding aggro, you can pyro demo, like you uber the pyro in. Uh, he air blasts them off to the low ground right there. Or back to the right, right there. Uh, it's just generally good. Your demo can then walk in after they have low ground. As long as you kill the sentry, that's pretty easy. But in the meantime, you only really, if you're doing that, you only really want pyro demo here. Uh, you could also change the pyro for scout, but if they have aggro hold and their pyro's not dead, he can just air blast as a set before, so you need pyro to counter. Then it's better to do pyro demo. If their pyro's dead, you can do scout demo and just get more kills. Like try to get a kill before you. you, you before they even pop uber you know meantime important on attacking third you always need boiler control so your sniper can get peak aggressive you need your sniper to be able to like peak aggressive here even 
soldier, you always want to like go as aggro as you can. Just build as much space as you can. If you need to rotate your combo off of main for a sec to do that, do that. You just need that control of boiler so your flank has a position to push when you uber in. Uh, let's say the whole passive, you need picks. You can't do it without picks. It's 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 just such a good hold. You you just can't. You need you need picks. Your flanks need to like get the positioning they need. Uh, on aggro, it's a bit more e a bit easier, but on passive, it's just like it's such a good hold. Big chance you're not even gonna win if they get a good turret setup going and they're good. You just need to get picks on their sniper, get the sentry, get saps, get coordinated. Like do some coordinated weird shit. Coordinate with your soldier sap, uh, whatever, right? Like sap sentry, or direct hit sentry. And the pipe, like a pirate, a pipe, a direct hit, and a like a sniper shot to kill the sentry. Whatever you need to do, make sure that sentry just dies, uh, or get some other picks. Right? If they're holding passive, the best way to push is push tracks. So you push lower, uh, depending on where they're playing. Their heavy is always going to be up here. That's the big danger for you. You need to like that's why your flank needs border control. The heavy can't deny you when you do this. Uh, best ubers here are scout demo or demo pyro again. Uh, you want to either be hugging the left wall if they're playing like passive right here. So you can pop as late as you can. If you can't get the sentry right, you want to uber. Like if you can't like get the sentry before you uber, you want to use the uber to kill the sentry first. It needs to die as quickly as you can, and you need to like your soldier, your like whenever you uber, your sniper, your demo, and your soldier should like insta like shoot the sentry like the first tick you uber in. If you're doing a scout demo uber and their pyro's aggressive, like you usually uber scout in first because if he kills the pyro, it allows your pyro to like either come in, come in, come out from house or like, like come out from another exit and just clean up in the after uber. Pyro pick is big because it allows you to keep the space you've gained during the uber, you know? If you can get all the way here uh, and their pyro's dead, they can't deny the space anymore. They can only like spam you from up there. And at that point, it's just the DM fight. And as I said, there's only gonna be it's only gonna be uh, scout demo in the Uber or scout uh, demo pyro in the Uber here. Your the rest of your team is literally just sitting in boiler and getting ag aggro while you're Ubering in, like building space and shit. Your heavy could be coming from this way as well. Just you need either your heavy or your pyro to play with the guys in boiler to give them that extra bit of pressure. Uh, pyro here, I like this more. Because the pyro is then close to the combo for the after Uber. If he's not in the Uber, I mean if it's scout demo Uber, pyro can sit here and. Uh, He's there for the after uber. Yeah, it's mainly about kill it, getting the heavy dead. In the after uber, basically, like you just uber, right? You exchange, you get the sentry, you get a couple kills. Even then, they can might even if they keep this high ground, uh, that's bad for you. So as soon as you get like heavy dead, sentry dead, right? Your soldier and your scout want to go aggro here on the top left and just clean this out because there's always going to be people like there's always stragglers here. Right? If they don't back out, there's always gonna be, even if they back out, there's always gonna be people stuck in here. And you wanna clean those up. Because otherwise when you're when you're capping, they might even block you by pressuring from both that side and that side. You know, so soldier, it's the best for you to do. If you actually win if you've won the fight, it's or while you're winning the fight, go up here, clean it out. If they hold passive, just DM, as I said, clean this out and just use that for a soldier to spam them out, you know. They will be forced to back off this way if your soldier gets in that room. Get play, get the positioning and just push them out. If you have to Uber exchange, that's fine. It's probably even better for you because it gives you a chance to get some kills. If they're playing this corner, they're doing aggro hold and you don't have... Uh, what you want to do is you want to take tires controls first. You want to keep that. So what's good to do is put your NG in tires with the mini sentry and like have him just play tires. Like you don't really need the spy check because your pyro should always be staying around the choke area. Pyros, uh, when you're attacking, is always around here. Spy checking, reflecting shit if they push aggro. Uh, your demos is doing the same, he's countering their demo. Uh, and like in the meantime, you have your, uh, like, you, you're, you're, you, and the rest of your team is just working on making space. Your heavy doesn't sit here. He's just a target for spam. You don't, on attack, you don't want your heavy to just sit in this area, it's just bad. He could sit here, that's fine. But if he sits here, he's dead. Because their sniper's gonna peak aggro here. If they have to spam, like if you're getting spammed already, their sniper is going to peek this. And their demo is going to like go aggro here. If you're heavy and you sit right here, you're just going to die. The power can't even protect you from that. It's just your fault. So you want to either be sitting here, or you want to be sitting here. Or you want to be like in map room having control of it and shit. Like that's what you want to do. Nothing else, right? Uh, as I said, you want to take tire controls. So your flank has somewhere to push from when you uber in. After you take tires, you also want to take map room. You just want to like do the full buff thing I talked about before. Uh, just kill them. 
don't uber for it, just kill them, get, kill them or get them out, doesn't really matter whatever you do. After that you leave your soldier or your, yeah, probably most likely your heavy and your soldier, you leave both of them here. Uh, your engine scout will already be on that side. Yeah, it, it could just be a heavy, right? Depending on if you killed them. If you killed them, it could just be a heavy here. If you don't kill them, you want to like keep pressure from here, you want to keep your soldier here as well. Otherwise, your heavy just stays here and your soldier back uh, rotates to tires or to cart. Or like goes all the way aggressive on their spawn as well, going that way. Like this is pretty good as well. A soldier just jumping up further and just going here. Like as soon as you get map room, uh, demo who might or demo power who might be helping to take this. Well, yeah, probably demo. Demo was helping to take this before. Uh, rotates back, gets buff. Pyro's already rally, was constantly denying their demo on card. And you just uber in. Like, uh, uber as late as you can. Uh, sniper needs to be dead if you push last, anyways. Sniper is a. You need to kill Sniper, you can't push without it. That's kind of how it works. So, Sniper needs to die, whatever you do. Then, after that, you need to control. You need also need control of tires and memory. If you don't have all three, your uber's gonna be bad. Uh, tires is. If they're not contesting tires. You don't really need it either, but if they do, you need to take it. You can't leave it be, because in the after Uber, their flank just scout, their scout that was watching tires. If you haven't taken it, just comes back. Uh, your combo is capping the card here, just on ramp. Oh, suddenly there's a scout there, and your medic dies. You know you don't want that. That's stupid. They can also just come up the stairway for free. Like what your flank can also do, what your soldier and your scout can do when you have tires, is they can go aggro into the stairway and get on their medic from behind. That's really good as well. So that, that's why the soldier preferably doesn't stay in map room if he doesn't have to, because then he can use this, and this is much better for after Uber. Uh, you Uber in, as I said before, power demo. Uh, you pop as late as you can, if you can pop right here, that's the best. Because then you Uber the pyro in and he gets the sentry if it's if it's here for free. And also you like an air blast their pyro instantly, that's the main thing. If the pyro air blasts you back to like this area, your Uber's dead, you're gonna get fucked. You're gonna get out the in after Uber. Because they're, your heavy's gonna still be up here trying to support you, right? But if if, you, if they can like look up and also shoot your heavy like instantly after, it's just so easy for them to hold. Your flanks will have to go huge for you to win that. So power uber is good, especially if the sentry's right here, because power can just pop, air blast, mouse one, and the sentry dead, medic force if he's holding like a retard here. Uh, and demo just gets flashed in the meantime doing damage, just killing the sentry. Like you want to kill the sentry when you uh, first, of course, like doing shit like that. Uh, demo in first is better if the power is dead. Uh, heavy doesn't push, it's just too slow. Uh, so that's why you have heavy map room. Because he has like, for after Ruby, it's just such an easy cleanup. Like that, it's just so easy for heavy to just sit here. Uh, that's another reason why you have to take map, map room. If you allow their soldier and heavy to remain here, even if you kill everyone, if their soldier and heavy are still alive here, and like you only lost like two players, that's still, a, like they can easily 2v7 your team. If they have map room control and you're just all capping that and no one's contesting them here. You know, that's such a big thing. As a spy, uh, getting kills in map room is good on attack and on defense as well. Uh, of course, getting snipers, your biggest thing as well. Sentry, also good. Like engineer kills, also good. Of course, just get the medic on attack and shit. It's, it's kind of free for the, these two points. Uh, on the third attack for spy, it's important to like try to get into the sentry. If the dispenser is difficult, if, if you can't do that, uh, you need to kill the sniper, focus him down. And as I said, I know it's difficult, it's just if they're doing a proper horde, a spy is just fucking difficult to get kills here. Like, you have to like get creative then, That's where the true spy shines, if they're actually good. No questions, any questions? Can you go the soldier for first attack? So, attack first. First thing you want to do, okay, medic stays in spawn. Uh, at the beginning of the game, doesn't show himself to sniper sidelines or spam. Soldier, you try to jump up there. If the soldier's probably gonna be aggro, the demo's gonna be aggro, they might have traps. Don't instantly jump up there, just spam them, do damage, jump up to this area, get con like try to take this control here away from them so they can't play behind this rock. That's like what you really need. Uh, after that, you wanna get ready for a buff. Because when the card is about here, your NG and scout, like your NG can just cap it for free. Like your engine's gonna most likely be solo capping maybe with your heavy, right? Like once that happens, uh, you might have just died before, you're either respawning or you're like, got the control. You just come back for a buff, you get up there, like you coordinate with your demo and you bomb. A pyro could do the same, but as I said what I like before is that you have your pyro walk this way. What you could do though is have your heavy do this instead, or your scout and heavy do this instead, and have your Pyro also jump with the jetpack from the tunnel. But in general, it's just about building space in the beginning of the game. And after that, it's about on flank. What you want to do in general 
she just wanna get space, get space, get space. Either on the right side, you wanna get space, directed the sentry down. Uh, you wanna like uh, make sure their soldier isn't here. You know, shit like that. Uh, you might even wanna like go tracks uh, and like spam the sentry from here. You know, play the cards. Uh, you might wanna bomb the right along this right wall like this, this, and get a sniper. Like that's the kind of shit you wanna be doing. Basically, just like DM, 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 and keep keep the space you got. Scout is always capping uh, at the beginning for the time stream. I don't. When you're in tunnel, though, it's so easy. Like you need two players here. Probably just heavy and fucking uh, NG should be enough to get it to the end of tunnel, like to right about here or here. You know, once it gets here, like at the, it needs to be here. You're in a position to actually push. But a lot of the time, if you just send a lot of players here at the beginning of the game, there's not that many people watching this. And you can get the card a bit further, like, like right there, for free. It's just nice to get the card as far as you can. Uh, so while you're bombing, you want to use that, that time as flank to either cap the card or take control of right side. You know, it's better to cap the card. Because when your team dies, the only other thing they have to focus is your right side in, in anyways. So I would advise you that when you're bombing, the rest of your team is capping card. Or denying their sniper. Pretty important, denying them from getting aggro. That's the two things you want to do. Yeah, you want to like just uh, keep bombing until you get picks, force. Uh, uh, don't go for sentry, he's gonna get wrangled, you're not gonna kill it. Bullshit. You can get the NG, that's good though. Uh, mainly though, you want to force the medic, or drop the medic. That's the two kills you want. Yeah, in the meantime, your your flanks are making space on the right side, or they're making space, capping the cart because they're distracted and not watching it. Or you kill the sentry in the meantime while they're bombing with a with a direct hit from this side. Oh no, no, well, like after the bomb, like when people are pressuring. Uh, I would like in the beginning of the game use gunboats though. Use fucking rocket launcher. You just need it. Nothing that much. A direct hit is only useful uh, after that, like when you're actually pushing. But it is pretty good. Uh, direct hitting sentry is, is huge. Sentry, what it mainly does, it doesn't actually deny cliff that much, but it mostly denies your sniper from peeking here, from here. And like, if you kill the sentry, your sniper can go all the way here for free and get angles on the medic. And that's what you actually, that's what you wanna like be doing. Uh, like, if you can't cap card, if you can't push cliff because you don't have pick, you wanna just like build space here as flank. Like, that's all you want to really... And denying their flank and kills on them, without DMing them, generally. Uh, spy. It's really good to take the Teddy at the beginning of the game. Uh, I don't like doing it the first time around, though. I like... It's, it's debatable where you do that or not. If you do it the first time around, it allows that If you actually get a kill on the bomb, uh, it won't get back that quick, and you can instantly push your respawners. Uh, you can also, like, sap kill the NG, sap... Try to go for the NG kill while they're bombing. Because then it like kind of serves the same purpose. Because the sentries then will die before they can, are able to respawn. That's the, the things you want to do. After that, you want to focus on sniper. Yeah, scout. You want to be like capping, a playing card, and playing like you're, you're playing tunnel. You're playing right side. You're trying to get aggro. Like it's good to always keep pressure tunnel. So they always have to commit players there. That's good for you to do a scout. But, like in general, they're gonna be dying a bit because like it's just if they if they hold correct, it's easy for them to get kills, not for you. you. You just make sure that whenever you Uber, you stay alive. For the team, you know? Like you, 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 like whenever you Uber flip, flank just makes space on right side or they make space in tunnel. As flank, you wanna be switching where they're not watching. If they, if like their entire fucking flank is stacked up here. Like they have fucking scout soldier there. It's just your scout and maybe your NG here. That means your soldier can then for free walk on this side and the only thing he really has to worry about is the sniper. First is kind of a bitch for scout and soldier though. Like in general, you're just flank, you're just armor collision for the rest of the And yeah, like you just need to make sure you keep the space and you take space, you keep it. So conscious is good for that reason. Because you just heal your, heal your like flank. Uh, NG, what you could be doing if the card's in position, you're either going to be pressuring a like, minion tunnel, wrangling it, denying them, or you're going to be like helping your team make space for your just help make space for the sniper as well. Like in general, your entire flank wants to be doing that. If their sniper is fucking you, you want to just make that space so your sniper can get kills on medic and on energy and on pyro, shit like that. That's the main way you like push on this. You get the pick, you play the picks, you get in. You can also keep bombing if you're getting nothing. Like just whatever. You need to get the picks to push. Uh, and as I said, two, two possible pushes, you either push right side or you push left. If your combo goes right side, soldier, 
At least you, you need to fucking go cliff. Or your heavy needs to go cliff. You can't have your fucking entire team stacked up on this right pad because you will get focused from both this angle and this angle. And if no one's going to tunnel either, then the scout can come help and shit. It's just like... Shit, that's why this left side is meh. Because there's no so way out of it. Should Heavy be uh, pushing Cliff or should he be yeah. going on the car? Either is fine. It really depends on where the rest of your team is. Uh, whether you got kills, you know? It's good in general for your Heavy to take... When you're, when you're exchanging from right side, right? It's good. For, your Heavy is not going to get in that quick. Unless you have built the space for your Heavy to get up close, then it's okay. But in general, it's better for your heavy and soldier to just both come cliff. You uber, and they're probably gonna like drop down and shit and try to finish you off. Like they get to they get aggro on you and shit. Like after the uber ends. If you you're heavy and soldier, they're here. They can like take high ground off that for free, and they might just like clean up after you. you know? Like going cliff, I like that. Also going card is good. Stacking cards when you do the right side Uber is also good. So if you're, you have like a couple people here, Scout, Barra, Soldier, whatever, Medic, you pop the rest of your team could be like going cards. That's pretty good as well. It's all about the point anyways. If, if you get this point, they can't stay in. Because you get uh, your respawns go like lower, and you can just keep sacking, 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 and they'll eventually just can't have a proper hold, you know? If you lose it, you're just not gonna hold it after. So it's all about the cap. Spy caps are big. It's also quite easy. If, if they don't have someone, someone to take a card, tell your spy to like sneak cap it when you push. It, it, it's pretty likely to actually cap. People just never watch that. Sometimes they put a heavy on the card, but if they do that, then you, your bombers are in for free. It's all about like fucking them up so they have to do something stupid. Yeah, and getting pressure on card, that's your scout job. That's your uh, NG job. Heavy helps with that. Uh, like wh whatever is available for that, just that. If you're not needed somewhere, do something like that. Or take another angle. Like, you want to just, like, get the crossfire going in general. If you get the crossfire, you basically always win. Okay, any big questions? So any the pyramidic picks are probably the biggest ones? Uh, the biggest ones, yeah. Okay. And, and just, uh, sniper's big. Because it allows your sniper to get space. Like, right. sniper, sniper's big. Pyro's really big. It, it, it's probably, pyro is maybe even more important than medic. On this point. Just because of the nature of the cliff here. Because if you can just W, right click, right click, right click, if sentry dies, like the only thing that can really deny you from walking in here is if they wrangle the sentry and shoot at you because then you get slowed down and shit. That's why your devil wants to kill a sentry as quickly as you can. And if, no, if you kill a sentry and the pyro, oh you're Gucci, you just walk in, you fucking right click and they're off the cliff all the way here. And like if you're flank at the same time as them in tunnel, aggressing their flank, and there's suddenly like five people dropping down here, like, your flank's gonna die, sure, but they're gonna, like, spam you to shit. And in the meantime, your combo's just walking up here for free, and then just up spam from up here, and you're, you can wipe them, like, so easy. A scout is good to then, like, if the power's dead, and he's dead, sentry dies, you know, and you do that push, uh, what's good for you to do is scout is go up his right side, and just clean up, DM their flank, clean up when they retreat, you know, because they're gonna get fucked, they're gonna be air blasted this way, or I blasted this way, off the cliff. And your a scout, if you come from like this angle, or like from the middle or whatever, you know? They're gonna be like, when they're retreating past this point, you just get boom, 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 boom. Easy kills. Just the end. Like, easy cleanup. Is it an idea to put our NG on character scout on attack? Is there any uh, yeah, 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 yeah. any other role on attack? No, no, NG, NG, NG on payload, any, any payload map, actually. Just caps. That's his main job. All payload maps in general. The NG's main job is to cap the card. Uh, it's scout's main job as well. No, those are the two classes capping, and that gets you your time straight. Because that's the max speed you can cap at anyways. So you only need time straight on the card at any time anyways. That's why scout and NG cap. But like when the fucking card uh, reaches here, and they have a sentry watching tunnel, your scout's not gonna be able to cap further. You know, whatever. That's why NG let them play scar. And like your NG is kind of also like uh, the role of NG on attack and on cough. It's kind of like mainly focused on helping the flank. So he's basically like the guy that puts down the mini sentry. Whenever the flank takes space, he puts a mini sentry in the spot. When they when they then try to take the space back on defense, they run into your mini and die. Like that's kind of your role. So you either cap the card or you're like fucking helping your flank do shit, helping your sniper do shit, your spy checking stuff like that. Like on attack at least. That, like that. That's your your main role. Just doing that. But putting dispenser up like right here is good. Like that's, that's like the only thing. But after that, like 
teleporter is not going to do anything at the beginning. So like the is the only real building that does work. And then the other thing is just like either putting a mini up and wrangling it to like this up there or something stupid, you know. Yeah, then you're just like a kind of a B-Tech scout. You're kind of like the extra cleanup. You have a NG walking in, you have a scout walking in, you have a soldier walking in, you have a sniper behind him. So you just like make space easier. That's your job as NG. Good NGs will just fill the gaps on attack on payload. So any questions? Yeah, it's I mean, of... even that even that place on third hole is about heavy uh, by those wooden pallets. Like I wouldn't mm -hmm. have thought of that. that that's not that's something that I would have known before. Yeah, no, you like there's no reason for the heavy to sit any other spot, anyways. Like, oh, what is he gonna do here? He's just gonna get like jumped or spammed from border, you know? Uh, in aggro hold, sometimes you see him play, but even then, he can do the same shit from there. Like if you're in aggro hold, you can, like a medic can heal you from here, anyways. So like, that's fine. And if you're doing passive hold, your medic's sitting here, and it's not that difficult to like step back from here and not get sniped and get healed. Like that, that takes two seconds, so it's just much better. Your after Uber is just so fucking big. If you're sitting here, they push in, you just counter the flank so that they can't get in while the Uber is happening. And then after the Uber happens, you clean up the combo or you clean up kills. So it's just, it's just so fucking like easy. Like, heavy is so broken on this one, it's just, that spot is just so good. It's platform yeah. here in the house. Like, and the fact that you have that small health kit, like, uh, ammo pack, you can even eat, like, eat sandwich here for free, you can't even get spammed. Shit like that, it's just, you can go back here, eat sandwich. Like, if your mech wants to be a bit more aggro because the sniper's down, you can, like, still get fucking heals from here as well. It's just really good for heavy to sit up top, like, holding this. And, like, the only way they're gonna kill the sentry without like spamming from like all the way back here is if their soldier gets up into this room like gets here so if you're heavy denies this like soldier versus heavy in close quarter combat who's gonna win the 300 uh, or 450 buff guy or the 300 hp guy the fucking uh 500 damage per minute minigun or like the two shot 200 damage rockets you know yeah. it's like kind of like yeah so easy for you to win like you could just like even if you get spammed and they get pressure on you oh i go back i heal uh, I have my soldier probably, like, if they're that area that they can spam me that hard, my soldier's probably backed off anyway, so he's helping me already. Uh, or I just go all the way back, play sentry for a sec, and then go back in, like, it's a lot of shit you can do with that. Yeah, bombing on third doesn't work, actually, if you're attacking, it just doesn't work. That's all I wanted to say about that, though, because sentry just denies you. Sentry is really big on third. Sniper really last. big on third. That, that, that's what I actually talked about, though. Like, a big pixel on last sniper. Well, like, bombing. But uh, bombing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a soldier it usually does. Because the soldier can like jump around this corner and he can jump from tires and he can get cheek bombs. And like uh, a soldier can bomb. Uh, demo can also bomb. What you can do, right? What teams do is they have demo jump from tracks if they need to get a bomb. And then they have soldier and sky, a soldier jumping from here. The, or like the both, soldier and demo both jump from uh, there's multiple jumps you can do you can sit on the roof set up there and jump and then your scout also pushes from tires the medic if he's aggro gets fucked that only and even if he's under the platform if your demo and your soul like your demo bombs in and your soldier drops down from here your scout drop down that's still a good chance you can force the medic there and yeah, that, that actually does work so that's the that's the two things. There's two things you really need to watch out for when you're doing aggro hold. I forgot. I actually forgot this. But of course, sniper. But like, you're probably gonna be denying him if you're aggro enough to spam that. Otherwise, you can't go aggro. If you can't like deny the sniper with the spam, like you can't probably like hold aggro anyways because you probably have players down. Other thing is is bombers. This side needs to be controlled if you're doing aggro hold, like 100% of the time. Like I said as well, and like uh, spies. That's like the only two things. But like spies, like have not don't really have a good way to uncloak. Like the only way they can really like do sneaky uncloak is they uncloak here, crouch, and then jump like this. That's like like jump over the raining. That's the way the spies will get in on your medic, or maybe around the corner. But like this one, like your medic has added a dispenser to block the spies. You can just oh, uh, just like move by the dispenser. Fire on them are constantly rotating. There's also like your scout and soldier coming back from heals for heals and shit from flank. So like there's a big chance you're gonna catch out of guard anyways. And like the pyro's keeping track of where he's dead anyways. That's what this pyro's job is anyways. You will probably be called spy time and that's when the medic can start looking around and shit. 
You know, it's not that hard. The medic can be, like if you have aggro position, the medic has nothing else to do but to heal people and f just like stand here. What can he do while standing here? He can look for spies. He can look for bombers. You know, like and your 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 spiral demo. Whenever you like rotate back, check that angle for a sec because that's something. If they get in here, uh, you back out because it, you're just gonna get like people flooding from this trying to kill like get a force and shit. Okay.